Shepard, so I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. Yeah, no, we definitely do. I, I feel like we got a bunch of stuff to talk to him about, but we're not going to hit it all up because it's not going to let us, but we can at least um, tell him about this. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I got a you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. I feel like I talked to him about this already. More than close. All right, maybe not. I don't she remember that. You. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah, sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Nothing motivates a soldier like losing their home. Trying to take it back makes an even better one. You take care, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Man, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, lately in the game, a lot of conversations like that one have been put into a different um, different context for me with uh, with everything going on in Ukraine at the moment. Now, again, this is being recorded on March 8th of 2022. So it's, it's very possible you're watching this in the future and the world's gone to hell and whatever. I don't know. Or maybe things have gotten better, but like everything with uh, the Ukrainian refugees and stuff. It's like, whoo, kind of hard to, hard to contemplate even just, you know, what those people are going through. And I just like, I have such a great compassion for, for helping them at the moment. I, I, I couldn't imagine. And you know what? That, that actually does lend itself to the fact that the, the people who write this, do a good job because they they know how to write it in a way that oh my goodness everybody's talking to us sure whatever so yeah you get you get a pretty good sense of of um the fact that this the these conflicts in these games are actually fairly well written because they're saying the things that we hear fairly frequently right now um let's go to do another mission i think yeah, you know, we got uh, we got a few options available to us. Do I need to scan here? I don't remember. I don't believe so. I don't think there's anything actually here. All right, that's fine. Let's um go ahead and jump back to the Mass Effect relay. And then, yeah, I want to do more little side missions. Or not. I'm gonna call them side missions. Just like uh, non-main activities. <laughs> there we go. That's a good way to put it. So we're currently here. I need to, oh no, we're here. So if I go to, okay, so server subductions, recover Prothean artifact, do, do, do. Maybe we go scan for the doctor? That actually may not be a bad option. Although let's, let's see what mission that is real quick. I think that's a better way to do it. 
just to kind of familiarize ourselves with everything we got. Oh my goodness, we got so many missions. Uh, so this is both Cerberus stuff. That's on Tachanka. Um, land on Benning and Peru uh, provide protection while civilians are evacuated. We could we could probably do that. This is Tachanka. Um, that's stuff on the Citadel. We do have to go back to the Citadel. Probably not quite yet. I think I'm going to hit up a couple other missions before we go back. Um, that's Prothean Obelisk. This is Aria stuff. Which one was that doctor? That's not it. That's not it. Oh, oh, oh this is Leviathan. Oh, maybe I go do the Leviathan mission. Eh, maybe. <laughs> that's... Hmm. I think that's a bit more of a commitment at the moment than I want to handle. I think what I want to do is go handle some more of the side stuff first before I go and do Leviathan. So maybe we do the abductions or maybe we do the Prothean artifact. I oh, know the Prothean artifact is another thing entirely, right? Man, there's just, it, I feel overwhelmed with things to do. Sit it out, rendezvous with uh, Arya's fleet. Again, doing Arya's stuff is going to be a pretty big commitment on like how many uh, episodes it's going to be before we get back to like main stuff. I'm not quite wanting to do that just yet. But maybe, maybe we go to Tachanka because we got a bunch of stuff there. Let's go to, okay, so that's Leviathan. Uh, this, none of this has anything in it. That's totally fine. That is stuff on the Citadel, which we, we haven't completed uh, a lot of it to, to finish off. And then we have Arya's things and we're not doing that right now. We have all of the Tachanka stuff. And then we have this side mission and this one as well. So let, let's go to here. Let's do the abductions. And then from there, we'll, we may do Tachanka. Because I feel like that will give us uh, a jumping off point for a lot of these missions. Was Take there? Yeah, there, there are Reapers here. All right, that's fine. We'll just scan stuff. You know how it is. Lost and found. What is it going to give us? Intel from Battle of Arcturus. There's 50% recovered here. Kind of want to hit these up. Oh, no, that was Reapers. I thought it's a little like back ping. I thought it was uh, giving me information there. Do I? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, let's jump over here before they show up. Investigate. Fuel, whatever. I think I was full on fuel. I didn't need that. But I, I, light jump successful. I like having the 100% done on that one. <laughs> it is kind of satisfying. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks that. Like when you when you uh, complete a bunch of stuff in the system through scanning or whatever. I found something. It is nice to be like, oh, look, I'm at 100% now. It's just satisfying. More fuel, really. Stop giving me fuel. <laughs> All right, we're 100% here too. Okay, so this whole system is done. Unless a new... Uh, or, sorry, I should say the whole cluster is done, but the the whole uh, added system thing that they like to do with missions later on is hyper annoying sometimes because you go from having 100% to like now you're at 75. Like, ah, I gotta fix that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and we, we just had James and Edie. Let's go Liara and Garrus again because they're fun. I could, I, I guess I could mix them up a little bit more <laughs> than I have been. But it'll 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 be fine. Um, I don't want to change out my stuff. The part of me is like, maybe I swap out the shotgun. But I uh, I recently rediscovered melee, and that has been working for us. Um, Garrus has three points that we could put in. I think I'm gonna do it on concussive shot, or actually proximity mine might not be bad too. Uh, it depends on how often he default uses that. So I, I'm just gonna go concussive shot for the time being. And Liara has four points to put in, which uh, we're going to hold on to so we can finish off Pure Biotic. I don't know if I have any points. I should have checked. Shepard, Cerberus strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate. 
investigating the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility in condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Ah, uh, yeah, alright, it's another one of these. Alright, we got it. We I already know what map this is. I don't even have to. I don't even have to think about it. I know exactly what this map is. Yeah. Oh yeah. I spent a lot of time here. Especially as soon as uh, Mass Effect 3 came out. All right. So good old gamer had mentioned in the past uh, when we did that one Cerberus mission where we were trying to like fight off a bunch of Cerberus people and it was like waves of enemies and all that. Um, we got. It mentioned to us that, oh my goodness, I gotta focus for a second here because this turret's gonna destroy my face. Can I please charge? Oh my goodness. Why can't I charge? What's with my power recharge? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on there. I couldn't charge. Let's, let's resume. So he had mentioned that uh, these these missions were like jumping off points for the multiplayer stuff, like as a, almost like a tutorial of like, hey, here's... Here's this multiplayer um, thing, or here's this multiplayer map. Get used to it because you're going to be doing it multiplayer, right? I think there's, I think it's more to it than that. <laughs> I need to put my incendiary ammo. Hey, stop shooting at me. I hate these turrets. I really do. They're really annoying. Oh, hey there. Um, get wrecked. Let's just reload. I'm going to wait for him to come around the corner here. Because he will. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's super dead. Okay, that's fine with me. This turret. Oh my goodness, this turret. Okay, we're good. That was unnecessary. Oh, these guys' is like death sounds are so loud today. What is up with them? Like, chill out, Cerberus. You know what I mean? Can we? There we go. <laughs> Shotgun's pretty fun. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. I should look around for other loot. You can intercept them there. We must hurry. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. So, um, I think it's I think it's more to it than just like, hey, here's this mission that's also a multiplayer mission, and you get used to these maps. I think it's actually more so a. This is like a producer. Producer? Oh. It's a producer's choice. This is this is something a producer of a studio goes. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, the reason why, and this comes from just standard game design, is it saves a lot of time and effort if you're suddenly deciding to make a multiplayer mode in this standard single player game. To be like, hey, why don't we take some of the assets that we're already using in single player or in multiplayer and use them in vice versa? So if you're already making multiplayer assets, let's use them in single player so that we're, we're kind of like doubling up on the content that we have available for players. Right. That And this is a this is a decision that comes from usually the producer produce. I can't say the producer. Uh, of the studio because they're the ones who handle like timelines and stuff like that and how how quickly things get done and they'll be like all right let's double up on this content so that it uh you know gives us it gives us more for less in a way it saves us money on development costs so yeah i, I think that's a lot of what these missions are and i'm totally fine with it because they work uh, to anyone reading this don't trust cerberus they're taking people against their will just run whatever you do don't look back run okay I'm, tr I'm trying to help you. I don't even know where you're at. You guess good? Hello. Look, reinforcements are here. Try Hello. to stay calm. Oh, us. What should we do? We're the reinforcements. Just stay down. Commander, more service troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give us civilians time to escape. Be careful, Nemo. If you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus. Uh, Cerberus. We hold here. 
Cool. We'll hold. Yeah, sure. No, why am I can't? There we go. Like <laughs> trying to loot things. It's not letting me. Man, this shotgun feels real good. <laughs> like really good. Hello, sir. How about you? I don't know why they're so loud at dying today. I'm gonna have to adjust this in post. A weird issue with the uh, mission was it loaded in, I think. Where did they go? Defense civilians. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't even know where the enemies are. I'm like, trying really hard to figure out where they're at. Hey, you. I missed. Do it again. <laughs> That'll work. That'll do. Just blow him up. Hey, you too. <laughs> I feel like that was wholly unnecessary to shoot that guy. <laughs> but I did it. And you know what? I'm not even ashamed of it. I'm not. I'm not. He just... He was already dead, and I killed him anyways. I, I killed him again. I killed him back to death. A lot of dudes. Ooh, biotic explosion. Just punch him in the face. Is he dead? He is now. I like how it's telling me to defend the civilians. I'm trying to. I don't even know where the civilians are. I just know that these guys keep spawning on me. Oh, good job, Garrus. You did it. Very proud of you, man. <laughs> Hello. Goodness. <laughs> that is quite the overkill. What is it? I like one bar of life left and I use the shotgun against him. I keep hearing people. I don't know where the civilians are, though. Hey, you. <laughs> oh, no, let's do this. Goodbye, son. Who? Oh, I see him now. I was like, who's talking? The voices sound like they were right next to me. Oh, I hear a turret. I don't like the turrets, man. I don't even know where it's at. I hear it. I don't see it. Is it in this building? It actually might be. Let's get this ammo because I'm going to need it. Go. Uh, let's dive in over here. So Wait, if the engineer was here, where's the turret? Is it inside? Hello, sir. Oh, there it is. Let's charge it by an explosion. That was beautiful. Wish I could do that more often. Yeah, this definitely feels like uh, Mass Effect multiplayer. It's like so many enemies. Ooh, perform any combination of 50 biotic combos or techs. Huh? That's I, I like that. I'll take that. Hello. Goodness. It's violent. Just <laughs> blow him away with the shotgun. A lot of fun. Oh, there was a guy down there. Right? Didn't even realize he was just suddenly dead. Hey. Where? Where are all these nerds? There's so many enemies I have to kill here. Like, I, I don't know why there are so many. Where'd that engineer go? You. <laughs> he just got flattened by shotgun shells. No, I don't want to get you up. You know what, Garrus? If you can't keep yourself up, you're not one of them on the team. This is just like a multiplayer match. <laughs> if you if you never play Mass Effect multiplayer. Or even Dragon Age Inquisition multiplayer. It's very much the same thing, but just slightly different. It was one of those things where like you You'd be playing through. You're like, oh we're gonna play on the hardest difficulty, right? We're we're all geared out, we're ready to go. And then like right right at the beginning of a mission. A person like just dies just like Hold the transport. usually a vanguard We're gonna make it. <laughs> just charges in and gets splatted and you know what you do you look at him and you go you're dead weight <laughs> 
you just immediately died. You are dead weight. And you leave them dead. <laughs> that's what that's what my group of uh, friends would do. To each other, no doubt. And it was always funny. Because it was inevitable that if, especially if you were grouping as like two people and you were getting a third, they would always the, uh, the new person would just die. Continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them. Gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Cool. That was, you know, that was a fun little mission. It was a lot of dudes I had to kill. I got 10,000 credits. Holy moly. Uh, let's see here. Journal? No, not journal. Squad. Uh, I have five points. I could spend five points on Nova. Let's go ahead and do that. So, recharge speed of all powers by 25% for 15 seconds. Yeah, that's really good. Gain the option to use Nova two times in a row. Not, nah, let's go with power recharge speed. You know what's funny is I think there's, uh, there's something to be said about the multiplayer and what I remember as like what is a good choice for for some of these missions especially in multiplayer and what is a strong build versus what i think is a strong build now and what i believe is a strong build now but my brain goes all right well which one of us is correct current me or past me <laughs> because it's possible both are correct it's possible that those specific things that i liked were really good back in the day specifically on multiplayer missions but it's also possible that uh, what I think is good now is actually quite good. And I'm discovering builds that I didn't consider before in the past, just based on my own, um, you know, my own experience that I've had over the last 10 years <laughs> since Mass Effect 3 um, that uh, that has changed the way that I think about skills and RPGs and whatnot. And has allowed me to think about different kinds of builds. Um, that might be very fun. And I'm more inclined to lean that direction of like it, my experience has changed what I think is good and what I, um, you know, what kind of builds I would come up with. Because the last, you know, doing Mass Effect 1 and 2 as a Vanguard, man, we've been crushing it. And I think that uh, finding out what has been working for us has been a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm not 100% correct in all the choices that I make. And some of them are less optimal than others, but I've been having a lot of fun. So this is from Grunt. That's a good fight, Shepard. You can't hear M, but I've got Arlac Company chanting Shepard, Shepard, your name, you know, as we down some Rind call to heal my wounds. Rind call, where, where are you? Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Okay. He's been drinking. <laughs> Also, if you want to type like a drunk person, that that felt that felt a little too tryhardy. <laughs> like maybe half of that, you know, dial it back a bit. <laughs> Whoever's doing the copy editing, dial it back half, and then you got you got a, a pretty convincing drunk person. That was a little much. Mm -hmm.